Hi everyone, Deb here. Um, welcome to a new collaboration I'm doing with Stamp Girl. It's called Crafting with Kits and we're going to be doing it monthly on the 20th of each month at noon Eastern Time. So look forward to that and the idea is to use up our kits. Now this month I did use a paper pumpkin kit from January 2021 called Sending Hearts and um, I finished it as far as I'm concerned. Now I decided to save this which is a you know uh, the labels punched out of because I thought this sort of had an Aztec feel so I'm gonna put that in my stencils um, or it could be little mini clouds if you do just this part anyway that's going in my stencil container so let me show you the um and i put the wrong year on the label i just made so i'll have to change that this is what it makes and um i had already made one of each so i had three and three and i didn't deviate a whole lot just a little bit so how i store my um yeah it just does say january 2021 on the bottom too um I had to fix that. So how I store this is I have these envelopes. I keep my other stamps and dies and things in, my non-stampin' up ones. And I label on paper pumpkin, the month and year, which is a one, and sending hearts. I put the stamp in the front, the original thing in the back, and then whatever I have left ex except that, um, I'm not really consistent with that. Sometimes um, I will, if they're just like regular jemmies or something, I might put them in with my other gems, but these are hearts and they go with the hearts. And also this ribbon, I'm not putting in there. I'm gonna just put it with my ribbon. Um, so that's what I'm, I'm doing with that. And then um, the labels I could use for other things. And there's three cutout words of, let's say love. You know, they pretty much go with the love theme. So I'm going to leave them in there. And then I have a, I have to maybe change this out, but I have a plastic shoe box. And it has regular kits in the front, which are not paper pumpkin. And then it starts with paper pumpkin from February 2018 back till July 2022. <laughs> so far and then i have more from 2022 and 2021 and i think also some 2020 that um are not finished yet on my shelf and i need shelf space i have uh some on the top of a bookcase some on uh top of my stamp cases on one shelf and some down on a, another shelf on top envelopes and stuff yeah um, now I did bring in some washi. I think I used this one on two of them. This little tiny one that says love and it has arrows and a little heart. You'll see. And um, I used this on one, one or two of them. I think just one. And then on one of them I used, um, I'll get the right one, this one. Which I wasn't really crazy about so I didn't do any more like that. All right, let me move that out of the way and I'll show you the cards. Like I said, I didn't deviate a whole lot. So let me, these are the way they're supposed, oops, not, well, they're not supposed to look upside down. They have envelopes with them already. That's how I know they were the done ones. I didn't, the envelopes that came in the kit are, hmm, are just plain red. There's, um, it's actually Poppy Parade, sort of an orangey red. And there's six of them, just enough for the cards. So for this one, I didn't want that love you because, I don't know, I just wasn't feeling that. And I also didn't tie a bow. Um, so this is the one I added some washi. You can barely see it. It's got the clear with gold hearts on it. I also added a couple extra of the um, these pink, petal pink color hearts. Um, and I did, I did on all of them do the black, uh, thing. And then I bumped up High Valentine, which I actually stamped and I stamped this too in real red because my poppy parade is about dry 
and my real reds having issues too and I thought sure I just filled that earlier this one is where I use that other pink washi a couple extra little hearts again and oh and I did use on these three this new uh, happy labels punch it has like ticket ends jury's still out on it I'll let you know some other time how I feel this one I went back to the white the clearish white with gold and I decided on um, these two I liked it with the ribbon going across it to add more black on it but um, I just wasn't feeling a bow on these maybe but I do feel like something's missing I'm kind of thinking if I have some black gems you see how there's like black dots here I might add a few small black gems on these three so those are those three and then these um, this one all I did extra was I put this washi going down sideways and I stamped in black instead of poppy parade um, and I turned it you see this one is straight I just turned it on an angle and I like that better so that's that and then this these two there's a little snail in the stamp set so um, this one well both of them I stamped on white cardstock and fussy cut it now that said if you have the snail mail stamp set from around that time I am because I think this coordinated with it i am bet you the die of the snail in that would die cut it out which I thought of after I fussy cut them and the reason I fussy cut them instead of stamping right on here is because for this one I think yeah this one I actually fussy I actually stamped right on here and I tried to color it with alcohol markers and they bled out all over the place so I actually had to use um, the first this and then even I had to use the white chalk marker a little a little in here to cover it up and then these I this I glued down over that one uh, let's see anything else to, oh and I did use some of that washi across the bottom here and then this one I used this washi across the bottom I actually think I like this other one better because it's skinny and this goes up on the um, mailbox post um, but otherwise they're they're the, the same so I thought they're cute and I think the additions I like that going across the bottom and down that side there not too much of the black showing on that one and this one it's okay it's all good they're all a little different and that's okay by me so that's it I finished the kit up um, and I still I'm sure I have at least one or two more Valentine kits in fact I when I was looking for something for a different collab yesterday I was making stuff I was looking through my I have a shoe box a sweater box excuse me called um, card kits and envelopes and I thought huh so um, I thought maybe that's where my card kits I have two card kits I know that I bought a Tuesday morning and I can't find them anywhere I'm sure I'll come across them but I haven't so far anyway one is beautiful blues and butterflies and stuff maybe I don't think I gifted them but who knows anyway um, they weren't in there but I found all these different um, specialty card kits that I think I got from um, what is the name of the place oh god paper wishes I think yeah and they I don't think they sell these particular ones anymore but I have them in all different fun folds and there happens to be two sets of ones with like swinging hearts so yeah I didn't have time to make them but I might still make them before Valentine's Day to get those out of the box and I actually discovered I have a whole nother box that is just envelopes um, and things so yeah that's okay I can always use the envelopes but I don't really need all those card kits so I'll be using them throughout the year when I don't know what other kit I want to use but I have a lot of paper pumpkin but I'm not going to use just paper pumpkin because I also have things like these you know this is an Easter one 
see what I put on there? Use March of 2022. So you can expect to see that for March of 2022, unless I change my mind. <laughs> so, all right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Please go check out what Paige has made with her kits. I know she's got paper pumpkin, but also other kits as well, and some really pretty ones, apparently, based on what I've seen so far. So anyway, thank you so much, and I will talk to you again soon. I'm not sure exactly when now. Um, might not be till the 31st. I think I have something on the 31st. I'm not sure. I may come and do a live sometime next week. We'll see. Take care. Hugs, love, and peace.